Understanding Negative Correlation in Investment Portfolios Investors often seek to construct balanced portfolios that can withstand market volatility and reduce risk exposure. A key concept that helps achieve this is negative correlation, also referred to as inverse correlation. This article delves deeper into the concept of negative correlation, its significance in economics and finance, and how investors can utilize it to enhance portfolio resilience. What is negative correlation? Negative correlation refers to a statistical relationship where two variables move in opposite directions. That is, when one variable increases, the other decreases, and vice versa. Mathematically, a perfectly negative correlation is indicated by a correlation coefficient of minus 1.0. Although perfectly negative correlations are rare in real-world scenarios, they guide investor strategies when constructing diversified portfolios. Significance in Economics In economics, the demand curve typically shows a negative correlation between price and quantity demanded. As prices drop, consumers are more willing to purchase larger quantities of a product. This classic economic principle underlines the foundational understanding of market dynamics. Conversely, supply curves illustrate a positive correlation where a rise in price encourages producers to increase supply. Key Takeaways Negative correlation indicates that two variables tend to move in opposite directions. Diversified portfolios often include negatively correlated assets to mitigate risk. Correlations can fluctuate, indicating that past relationships may not predict future movements. Stocks and bonds typically exhibit a negative correlation. Investing in negatively correlated assets can minimize both portfolio risk and potential gains. The correlation coefficient. The correlation coefficient ranges from minus 1.0 to plus 1.0. A value of minus 1.0 signifies a perfect negative correlation, 0 indicates no correlation, and plus 1.0 indicates a perfect positive correlation. Investors use correlation coefficients to make informed decisions about portfolio construction and risk management. Importance for investors A diversified portfolio aims to include a mix of assets that exhibit low or negative correlations with one another. This strategy allows investors to balance risk across different asset classes, providing potential offsetting benefits when one asset declines in value while another appreciates. Observing Outliers in Correlation Analysis Outliers are extreme values that deviate significantly from typical observations in a dataset. They can skew correlation analyses and misrepresent the relationship between assets. For example, if a tech stock rallies unexpectedly due to positive news while the rest of the market remains stable, this outlier can inflate the perceived positive correlation between the tech stock and the market index. Investors need to be cautious of outliers and ensure data used for correlation analysis is representative of typical market activity. Trends observed in data should not be taken at face value, as the context matters greatly. Negative Correlation and Investing Strategies Risk Management and Diversification Investors can use negatively correlated assets to create a buffer against volatility. When one asset performs poorly due to market conditions, another that is negatively correlated may perform well, thus stabilizing overall portfolio performance. For example, when markets decline, bond prices often rise as investors seek safety. Hedging techniques Hedging involves reducing potential losses in investment positions. Investors may choose to invest in negatively correlated assets as a hedge against declines in core holdings. For example, if an investor holds technology stocks, they might also allocate funds to traditional sectors like utilities, which tend to be more stable during economic downturns. Real-world examples of negative correlation Traditional asset classes exhibiting negative correlation include Stocks and bonds, typically when stock prices fall, bond prices tend to rise as investors flock to safer investments. Gold and the US dollar Historically, gold prices have increased when the US dollar weakens, 
as investors seek a hedge against currency devaluation. Defensive versus cyclical stocks Defensive stocks, such as utilities, may perform better when cyclical stocks, like technology, underperform during economic contractions. Building a diversified portfolio with negative correlations. When constructing a well-balanced portfolio, select a mix of negatively correlated assets to achieve the desired risk-to-return ratio. Here's an example portfolio allocation. S&P 500 large caps, 20%. U.S. mid caps, 20%. U.S. small caps, 10%. International non-U.S. stocks, 10%. Emerging market stocks, 10%. U.S. investment grade bonds, 15%. 7 to 10 year treasuries, 10%. Gold, 5%. Commodities, 10%. Calculating weighted average correlation. To assess the overall correlation of your portfolio, calculate the weighted average of the correlations among various assets. This method considers each asset's contribution based on its percentage share of the total portfolio. 1. Determine each asset pair's correlation coefficient. 2. Calculate the average correlation for each asset. 3. Multiply the average correlations by the portfolio percentage allocation for each asset. 4. Sum the weighted averages to obtain the portfolio's overall correlation. A moderate average correlation suggests that the assets, although somewhat connected, will likely react differently to market changes, achieving a buffer in risk. Limitations of using correlation While correlation analysis is beneficial, investors should also consider other risk factors, market dynamics, and economic forecasts. Historical correlations can shift unexpectedly due to changing market conditions and macroeconomic fundamentals. Markets are dynamic, thus, what worked in the past may not be reliable in the future. Considerations beyond correlation Liquidity, assess the ease of buying or selling assets without affecting their price. Market conditions, understand the economic landscape as correlations can change drastically during crises. Volatility, correlation does not inherently measure risk high volatility assets can still pose a threat regardless of correlation. Conclusion, the bottom line. Negative correlation provides a strategic framework for enhancing portfolio diversification while managing risk. By thoughtfully pairing assets that move in opposite directions, investors can smooth overall portfolio returns and navigate market fluctuations more effectively. However, Staying vigilant of changing correlation dynamics, economic conditions, and market trends is vital for successful investment strategies. A comprehensive approach integrating asset correlations, historical data, and ongoing market analysis will empower investors to build resilient and adaptive portfolios.